Okay, so we've got our data loaded up. It doesn't look great, and so we ought to fix that quickly. And so, for one thing, I keep getting all these errors and in, in, in the midst of recording the video, I didn't even notice. But yeah, you can't have a, just a, a, a column without a row. So these should be surrounded by table rows. You probably knew this and did it. Um, but yeah, we should have all this stuff should be in a row. And .NET will try and make up for, you know, it knows it should be in a row and it'll try and make up and help us. So uh, the same thing here, this should be in a table row. And all this stuff should go inside of that. So we'll get rid of those little errors. And then um, that looks good. Let's let's make our table actually look like a table. So I'm gonna say class equals a table. And then we could do something like table ordered is a typical thing. And then the heading, maybe we make that um, just to differentiate it from the rest of the, the um, rows. We can say font weight bold to make that uh, show up in the in the heading and maybe let's see if that looks a little better okay so that looks more like a table that we'd be used to okay great so what I want to do next is just as we think about creating this database um, in the database in the structure of the database we currently are storing the major for every uh, individual and we know uh, with our database knowledge that we're going to store a whole bunch of words repeatedly on this giant wait list we're going to build for people that want to date us. Um, we're going to have this major ID or major name stored over and over and over again. And yet many people are going to be the same majors. And so we know we can create some efficiency there by instead storing a major code, a major number, and then relate that to the name of a major so that we're only storing the number in the application. And so this is what we refer to as a foreign key, uh, primary key, or not primary key, but a foreign key relationship. And so, um, or I guess a form, foreign key, primary key relationship, right? Um, and so in the application itself, if I want to create a separate thing for majors, what's gonna end up being a separate table for majors, then I can do that by going in and creating a new model. So this is now going to be a second table in our database and a second model here in our uh, program. And so I'll create a new class and I'll call it, this is going to be our major. This is So each one is going to be an instance of a major. And it can be really simple in our little example. And it's already giving me <laughs> suggestions here. Um, let's, let's create a major ID. And of course, this is going to be the key of this table. And then with that, we'll create the actual name of the major. So public string, and this will be the major name. There we go. It helps us out there. And so that's the key. We've created a new, it's just an object right now. It's nothing in the database yet. But we're going to create a new uh, class that just stores majors. All right. So... Now, in the application itself, by the way, I just looked at that real quick, because if they're underlined in green, it's giving us a suggestion, it's a warning, saying, well, do you want this to be null or not? And we'll talk more about that later on. I was just making sure it wasn't anything big. So currently, we're storing the major, which is actually the major name, let's say. How do I indicate to, in, in, here in C-sharp and in building this database, that I want this actually to be stored in the other table and just store the major ID here? So what I really want to store here is the major ID. And so there are a couple of things we can do to indicate this foreign key relationship. One is to come in and we can make a data annotation actually that says it's a foreign key. And then in parentheses, we say, what is the foreign key uh, relating to? And it's going to be to major ID in the other table, right? And then I come in and this is the part that may seem a little bit strange. I say, so what we're going to attach to this is a public instance public instance of a major, meaning that class that we just created. And most of the time we just call it like it's uh, IntelliSensing for us here, major. So we're saying this ID relates to an object over on the other side is what we're saying. So we're storing in the application um, that link to the major. And so this little syntax sets up that foreign key relationship 
to the other table. All right, so we've set up that foreign key, and then we actually probably wanna pre-populate some majors in there. And so I just wanna show you how to do this. I don't wanna make a big deal out of it because I think a lot of times you can actually just go in the database and pre-populate stuff that you want to. But I wanna at least show that you can do this. So as we are um, um, building this dating application context file, which relates to all of the tables in the database, of course, we're gonna create a new public DB set here of type major that we'll refer to as majors get set and so that will end up being a second table in our database but then the other part is um, we can put this little statement in to seed the database so we can say protected uh, override void and then on model creating so when we're creating the model what is it that we want to do and we can get rid of this little code here. So what we're gonna do instead of doing that on model creating, we're gonna say, um, so model builder, which is referring to this uh, thing that's being passed to us to be able to build up this data when we, when we start. So we're gonna say model builder dot um, entity. And then in the entity, we're saying, what are we, um, going to be populating what are we going to be creating instances of and these are going to be majors so entities of type major and then we put this little thing in that says has data and what this means is i know sometimes this code gets a little bit confusing um, we're saying go in and check to see if there's already data of type major in this table and if not we're going to go add some new stuff and so it goes to check the database first and says is there already stuff there if there's already stuff we don't want to go re-add it but if, if there isn't data there, then it will put data in on that initial time the database is, is uh, run. And so what are we gonna create each time? Well, we're gonna create a new instance of a major. Okay, so in the new instance of the major, and then in the braces, we can say major ID equals, and then we can just start making stuff up. So major ID uh, one, and major name in that case is going to be information information systems okay so that's one and then we can put a comma and we can create another new instance so major we're gonna create another new instance of a major and the major ID is going to be and I'm just gonna start naming off degrees I know major uh, name is going to be computer science okay uh, new major we got to get the ones that are actually in the database. Let's let's do a few of these. So major ID for Job, I think it was magic. So major name equals magic. Got to get that in there. A very popular and important major. Uh, new major, I think for George Michael, we said banana stand. So major ID equals four. Uh, major name equals banana stand. And maybe one more. Let's do like uh, new major. Uh, in the braces, major ID, whoops, major ID equals five, and the major name equals, let's do um, just general business. I think is what we did for, uh, was it business administration? I think we did maybe something like that for, um, for uh, Michael Bluth. So anyway, we're loading up the data. Now it's not liking this little error here. And that is because I'm missing some parentheses there. Okay. So now, like I said, when we load up the database the first time, it will add that uh, information in. And this is separate than what we did with loading up the foreign key. This is just if we ever want to seed the data. Uh, so seed data. This is how we can do that. All right. So now that we've got this all set up, the two different things. One is to uh, build this foreign key relationship between application and major. And then the second thing we did that's again unrelated was to put some seed data in for the major. Then let's actually go use, well, let's build the database and then let's use this data to um, on, a, on one of our forms to populate a little dropdown. Spencer out.